guys, uh, my name is Rochelle and this is... Andrew, and I am super excited. What are you excited for? What are we excited for? Today, we're going to be cooking, we're doing our meal prep. We're doing our meal prep, per usual, on Sunday afternoons? Not per usual. No? It is Sunday afternoon, but it is not per usual. Sunday afternoon. You did something, explain to them what you did this week, and I caught you on your meal prep. Like, when I looked, I said, I want to look at the meal prep when you're done, with, like before you send it out. Then you sent it out. I had already sent it out. So one of the things that we typically do when we do our meal preps is it's supposed to be super easy. You're supposed to be able to put everything in a bag, put it in your freezer, and then it goes in the crock pot on the day of. It's supposed to be like a set it and forget it. Right. Set it, forget it. Put everything raw, uncooked, all that, like broccoli and all that, into a bag, put it in the freezer, so then later we can just very lazily pull out a Ziploc bag, drop it in a container, and cook. Right. That's not what you did this time around. I didn't do that this time, and... On purpose? Well, so what I was doing is I had some requests for um, meals that didn't have cheese. So I was like, oh, okay, well, Asian cuisine doesn't have a lot of cheese, so let's go with that this week. I'm feeling very uh, inspired. Mm -hmm. And none of these are crockpot friendly. Not one. Not, not a single meal in the entire crockpot meal kit is... A crock pot meal. But to be fair, our meal plans are not specifically labeled crock pot meal kits. No, but they are, so. suppo they are supposed to make it easier for us so that we don't have to cook every single night because we're busy, like, you know, business people, and we don't have time to, like, make a dinner business and prepare every single, every single night, it's right? It's business time. Right? Yes. Okay, that's what I'm saying. So by, by making a bunch of meals, like, for the entire week in which it's going to involve cooking, it kind of defeats the purpose for, for people who actually like use the meal plans. Right. Right, that means that they're gonna have to cook like every single night. Doesn't I mean, that seem like it's totally overwhelming? But I feel like everybody already does do that every single uh, night. Nah, but see, here's the deal. You can still cook all of these today, which is what we're doing. That was my surprise. She wanted to play some silly little game where it was like, never have I ever. And then I had to explain to her what the rules of never have I ever were and how like sarcastic catty eighth grade girls will use never have I ever to like expose the secrets of other girls. And I wasn't about to, to be one of those girls who like had to talk about some stuff. So, what we are doing instead is this. We all know that she likes to talk, and we all know that she gets super distracted, and we all know that I pretty much do all of the prepping like anyway. I help too. It's she shaking helps me. too. So what we're doing is I am going to cook, and I mean cook, not just freezer and bag and tag and put it in the freezer. I am going to cook all five dinners at once in the time that it takes her to make the breakfast cups and the lunch casserole. So I will be doing Thai chicken with cauliflower fried rice, chipotle lime shrimp and zoodles, chicken ramen soup, orange chicken with cauliflower rice, and the baked chicken tilapia all at once, and it's going to take me the time that it's going to take her to do two of the regular lunches and the breakfasts because I can do it like that. And I'm gonna be sociable, amenable, and comedic the entire time. Wait, what was that second word? I don't know, I think it's amiable, amenable, I don't know which one it <laughs> she is. She said amenable. It's amenable. <laughs> He's gonna be amenable. Mm-hmm, yeah, it's, it's inevitable. Ine inevitable, inevitable, I can't do it. But we're gonna do it like that. So? So what? I, well, I don't think it's fair because your chicken's already cooked, and where am I supposed no, to No, 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 I chicken? have one, one of my five chickens is already cooked. Only one of my five chickens. Where am I supposed to cook my chicken? Where you can cook it right over here if you want to. Cause I gotta pull that off here in a second. I think I'm gonna spend the next hour distracting him and doing my work. Mm-hmm. That's not how it's gonna work, though. That is how it's gonna go down. Ah, uh, you will see. So, but you still have to tell everybody what you're making and everything that's going in it and yep. all of those things. And how can you tell them if your back is to them because they can't show you? I can totally, totally do it. Can you hear him? I can't hear him. Everyone can hear me. Everybody can hear me. I'm just double checking everything I got that I need to get. Okay, so our meal plans have changed a little bit this week. Um, the look, not so much anything else on the inside. Be sure to sign up at ketolama.com. Click on um, meal plan sign up or meal plan something. And it will take you to a link where you can fill out a form and get a copy of these meal plans delivered to you on a weekly basis. Um, I finally got it set up. I'm really excited. I'm sure y'all are too. Also, be sure to add Rochelle at ketolama.com to your list. Yeah, to your list so that it doesn't, to your address, like that's the word, um, so that it doesn't go to your spam box. Um, so breakfast is always uh, bacon and egg bites because I'm in love with them. They're really, really super good. They're delicious. Uh, lunch is chicken, bacon, Caesar casserole with a side salad. 
Uh, and then the dinners are. What were the dinners? Oh, you can read them. I'm, I'm kind of busy right now. The dinners are orange chicken with cauliflower rice, chipotle lime shrimp with zoodles, uh, chicken ramen soup, Thai chicken basil, and cauliflower fried rice. I know, I didn't realize that I had put the cauliflower rice in there twice, so you can substitute out for anything that you want. We're gonna eat it like this because I'm obsessed. Actually, because I'm lazy and don't want to go get anything else from the store. Yeah, um, that's what it is. <laughs> That's the truth. And then baked Parmesan tilapia with broccoli, which is not really in line with the uh, Asian theme, but by day four, you're going to want, or by day five, you're going to want something else. Yeah. It was good that you, like, put the shrimp in to kind of, like, throw things up a little bit. Oh, yeah, that's not Asian idol. Idol. Idol? It's not an Asian idol. No. But it's delicious. That sounded very, shrimp. very, um, interesting. So what are you doing over there? I am setting up. I am cutting up the chicken for the orange chicken with cauliflower. Rice. He's setting it up. Cutting it up. That is what I am doing. What are you doing? Um, distracting you? Nope. Couldn't distract me if you tried. I'm laser focused, sharp like a cat with lasers. Yeah, because he did the uh, he's in ketosis. Oh yeah, no, for real, I'm in ketosis. I've been testing my blood sugar and I've been testing it off and just like Wilfred Brimley telling me to on TV. Who's Wilfred? Lu the, the diabetes commercial guy? He was like, my name is Wilford Brimless. <laughs> he was an actor at some point. I check my blood sugar. I check it often. That guy? No? You don't know what I'm talking about? But this is different. No, I know. But I'm checking my blood and technically like checking like if there was sugar in it or not. Did you check it after that cereal you ate this morning? Shh. Small victories. Small goals. It's, it's I only... switched over to like keto and I've only had one bowl of cereal since. Come on. A little bit. I've only had one little bowl of cereal twice. <laughs> I one think, one I bowl think of cereal twice. from having never done it at all ever in my life, I've done. I've made amazing strides. Yeah, no, it's great because like after the first time I did it, we uh, it was Valentine's Day, and I was out on all of those delicious cookies that I bought the kids that they hated, so I ate them all after my first. I really like how you just fast. blew right past that fake compliment. You're like, no, 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 that's great, that's good, that's good. That's what so compliment? Fun. Exactly. I said, like, I'm really, I'm doing really, really well. I'm kind of proud of myself. You're like, yeah, no, 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 that's cool. That's good. Yeah, it's whatever. It's all right. Oh, I'm sorry. You were complimenting yourself? No, you, no, I was saying I was proud of myself for having oh, yeah, I'm proud stuck of you. to something. And meanwhile, you're like, yeah, no, that's cool. Fine, fine, fine. Good for you. I am proud of you, too. There it is. But. But, <laughs> but I feel like you should be proud of me for sticking to these meal plans forever now because you always say that I do something, I fall in love with it, and then I quit it. I am so proud of you for always finding something for me to cook for the family. Silence! No, I know, you totally did this before. Um, I'm, just, I'm just gonna do it better now. You're gonna do it better now? Yeah, I'm just gonna do it better. How are you gonna do it better? Oh, because I'm gonna make this whole thing awesome. Okay, how? Think about it, I'm gonna have all five of these things done in less than an hour. Can you cook my chicken too? Nope. You can cook your own chicken. Uh, where am I supposed to cook it? You can cook it right here where the pot is going to go, where the chicken, like where the soup's going to be. Is the soup done? Uh, it should be, and I have to like take all of the meat off of the off of the chicken itself. So I can take your pot away and put mine in there? Yeah, if you want to put it in the sink for me. Okay. You have all the good knives. I have like the worst, and this is really tough chicken today. Well, I have nothing to cut, so you're welcome to the Where's knife. Where's the chicken that you're supposed to cut? I'm not going to cut it, I'm just going to put it in the pan. Wait, the chicken breasts? You're making the chicken bacon casserole. Well, you have the, you have that. You're making the chicken bacon casserole and you're just gonna put chicken breasts in there? No, I was just gonna cook them whole and then That's like saying, bring Mike. the cooked chicken over here and then cut them. Oh, that would be so much smarter than what I'm doing. I'm like trying to cut through all the fat. It's cause I'm smarter. Yeah, that's good. So uh, for the sous vide egg bites, um, we did, or I did a live earlier in the week to tell you, to show y'all how to make them. Gosh, where is this hair? Ew. I don't get distracted at all when I'm cooking. Shut your mouth when you're talking to me. Shut your face. Um, what? I'm talking to myself, don't worry about it. So you have to tell everybody what you're doing. Well, I'm just doing the exact same thing that I was already doing. Did you get oil? Jesus, I lost crap. Yeah, I, I told you I put everything Why are you place. yelling at me? <laughs> I've already told you these. <laughs> I'm like a bear, apparently. Mm -hmm. Like I wasn't gonna say it. 
But you, you just did. No, you said it. How many of these have I put in here? <laughs> oh my gosh. I think that looks good. You were the epitome of what I was talking about. Is that an enemy? Mm-hmm. No, why did you say epitome? Because I was being funny. Because that's what I do, babe. I'm funny. Oh, you're funny? Uh-huh. Cool. Um... Alright, so next I need to also start getting the ramen soup, okay, so I'm going to take that off the pot. Yes, that would be great. Alright, so take that, alright, bring it to a boil, so remove the chicken from the pot, leave your broth uncovered, and let it simmer for another 45 minutes. So I, know, got, I got regular oil. I got to let the broth simmer for 45 minutes, don't freak out. What broth? Like this that's in the chicken, that makes up the chicken. This is turned into broth. So before we started, I popped my big old chicken into the pot, and it has been broiling in there for like an hour. Boiling because broil is in the oven. That's what it means. And so then, it's going to, the water needs to then sit for another 45 minutes to continue getting deliciouser. More delicious. Oh, this is a big heavy chicken. Can you see him picking it up? His arm is like... If we went, to, if we went that... to Camp Gladiator more, your arms would be like... Boiling hot water. Boiling hot water. Right, so the chicken's sitting in there, so here's what I can do now for you. Okay, I am so gonna be done before I go. I can take the back burner and I can put this on there and then you can cook your chicken. Are you ready to cook your chicken? Yeah, I can cook my chicken. Okay. Well, because the burner's hot and it's ready to go. That's not gonna be enough room. Uh we're pretty sure it fits. Okay. See that? Oh, amazing one. I can make it slide in. So do you want to explain what we're doing again? Nope. Uh, no, I haven't really been telling that I can't do the fried rice. Alright, so now this is sitting off the side for another 45 minutes. I gotta time myself here. Do I, does this need to get hot before I? It's already. No, but that's not hot. No, but it should be. It's gonna get there very quickly. So I should put the chicken in? Yeah, you can put the chicken on it. Get the oil and everything that you need. Do you need this pan? Not yet. No, for a while. Okay, so now I'm going to heat the coconut oil, I'm going to throw the chicken into the skillet for the orange chicken and cauliflower rice while I'm waiting on my ramen soup to finish getting its flavor on. And so then I'm going to do the shrimp here in a minute after that one is done. So I, I really don't think y'all can hear each other over there if you can't. I am talking to a wall and it's bouncing off, it's reverberating through, the sound waves are coming out to them. Distractions. Alright, good. Can't hear him, let us know. Just so that he can up his volume, because he can speak really loudly. What was that? I didn't hear him. I was having a hard time. I said you were a loud mouth. Oh my gosh. Alright, so now I'm going to make the mix for the Parmesan tilapia. It's the olive oil cooking. Um, so what? Other things need chicken because I can put more chicken in here. Uh, the other things that need chicken are the Thai chicken. That one is uh, just whole chicken breasts. Okay. Yeah, chicken to the pan, stir occasionally. What's well, it says stir occasionally? Is the Thai chicken with cauliflower rice, is that supposed to be chopped up? I don't, probably. Okay, yeah, just cook it all. So put everything in that. Because well, I need two pounds of that for that one. Okay. Right? And then I need another. Oh, this is going to stick. I should have sprayed this again. You should have put some of your uh, favorite oil or something in there. Well, can you get me some of my favorite oil? Flail, flail, all around. Put some olive oil. Right. Your butter? You want butter? Oh, like the YouTube show, or not the show, like where the guy throws an egg at his mom all the time? Is that a thing? Because I really, did, I think you're making that up just to throw it. No, egg. that is a thing. <laughs> you want to do that thing where a guy just, like a guy just gets hit with eggs? Let's no, do that. Maybe you're his mom. It's his mom. One and a half spoons. Why does his mom always get hit with an egg? What are you talking about? He throws the egg at his mom because it's funny. I don't remember. What, have we watched that together? No. Okay. But I'm really surprised that you haven't seen it with the amount of YouTubing that you watch. I don't understand. I've never heard of that, and it sounds awful. It's just, like, it's an uncooked egg that he throws at his mom. And that's, like, funny. Like, here, catch. Like, think fast. Yeah, but why... Yeah, but think fast is fun, right? No, it's not. Who? Why not? <laughs> not when it's raw eggs, babe. It's mean. But it just lands on the floor and just clean it up. Yeah, see, even then that part. So if I did that to you, you would just walk out the door and then I would still have to clean it up. Well. Alright, quarter tablespoon of salt. Alright, 
So now my chicken needs to get added. This is how it's all gonna fall apart for me. Things are gonna get burned. Watch out. Where's my lid? I don't know. I feel like this is about to burn our house down. That is my goal. So, 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 so. You removed my lid, that's what you I didn't, I didn't move it. You removed my lid. Over here now? Okay, cool, I'll take you in. What's that Beastie Boys song, The Sabotage? That's what's going on. See you, pardon me, I gotta go over So I'm gonna continue with these, and, um, what am I making? <laughs> egg bites. I'm making the oh. egg bites for breakfast, and just making the... Everything? Everything else. And he thinks it would be fun to watch me fail. Yep. It's gonna be hilarious. Where is he being salt? That's what I can't Where's the lid for my pan? Oh, right behind you? No, that's the tiny pan. Oh, it's right here, hiding over here. It's not hiding. I wasn't actually trying to hide it from you. Just FYI. All right, so then I also need, did you get out the Parmesan cheese? No. I have the mozzarella. Any cheese? What are you making? The stuff in the No, you definitely want to use Parmesan. Okay, well, where's the Parmesan at? I don't know. Oh my gosh, I gotta cook. You're gonna burn this house down. I am not gonna burn the house down. When you don't tell me where the cheese is, I, it's and then spend, right. I spend precious time looking for the cheese instead of cooking my golden wok over here. Waka waka. This is your idea. This is totally my idea, but I was expecting like a little bit of assistance. I'm just sitting and making breakfast and lunch. Oh yeah? Is that what you know? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Well, you stick with that. Just try to remember what it is that you're doing in about five minutes when you get distracted. Oh, you're using the Parmesan. Is that what you're doing? No, this is Greer. Well, where's the... <laughs> you still don't say it right. Where's the Parmesan? Did you buy Did you buy Parmesan? I swear it was on the grocery list last well, time. Well, that doesn't help if they like tell you when you're there, like, oh, by the way, we didn't have any. I said, that's fine, it, whatever the replacements are, guys. Okay. Yeah, so we don't have any? I don't know. The boys unpacked the groceries. Oh, my goodness gracious. I bet they ate the Parmesan. I bet they put it where you can't find it, and I bet it's right in front of your face, like the bee last week. Nope. And it's not just like that one last week, because I didn't even know what that stuff was until last week. That's not going to be enough Parmesan? Alright, well I'm still sneaking into the salad bowl here. Because you don't help. How am I ever supposed to do this? There's some precious time. Where is it? Tell me where it's at. If you want me to like ruin dinner, that's fine. But where is it? Please tell me where it's at. I don't know. You know where it's at. I don't know. Yes, you do. I can tell the laughing. Like when your whole body starts to sh like heave with a secret that you're holding, that usually is the time that tells me that you're like. I swear I'm not. Is I it? swear. No. Where's it at? I don't know. Yes, you do. Oh my gosh. Whenever she thinks something is super, super funny, but it's really not because it's inconvenient for me, she will hold her laughing in until her body is doing this and her whole shoulders is doing like the Cleveland Shuffle. And maybe I did it. Oh my. All right, well, I'll just take some of your Gruyere. Is that all right? Yeah, I guess. All right, good. Oh, it's supposed to be finally shredded too. That's great. Okay. This is supposed to be like going on. Well, that's what I used yesterday, so it's totally fine. For the fine. tilapia? Yeah. Okay. Just grab a little bit more in there. I need two thirds of a cup. Well, you keep shuffling until you get that two thirds of a cup. All right, so now also I gotta make all that whisk it together and then that's it. So once I whisk it all together. How many do you have done? Oh, the chicken. Whisk it out of the egg, mayo, salt, and pepper until it's all combined. Oh, we were supposed to flavor these, like season them with salt and pepper first. What? Season what? Those chickens? Well, I wasn't supposed to. You're the one who was like, hey, what do I need to do to, like, hop on on this? And I was like, oh, here, here's what you can do. All right, where'd you put the eggs? Are they all over there? I have all of the eggs. I knew you had all the eggs in your basket. What does that even mean? Oh, super smooth. Tablespoon of mayo, salt, and pepper. Good. All right. 
don't put all of your eggs in one basket means like don't try to plan to have success or like all of your success on one thing. Because if you put all of the things in one under one roof, basically, if anything happens, it all falls apart. Does that make sense? You're so enlightening. So enlightening. I am so lightning. Light. Hey, let's move now. Did you know when you're just like being that like, that person? What person? The person that you like pretend you can't hear me when I'm talking to you, and then you're like, what? What? What are you talking? What? I don't know what you mean. What? What? I don't know who you're talking about. And then you're like, oh yeah, no, I totally knew. I was just watching you get mad. That person? I don't do that. You are no, you don't do that. <laughs> Only a mean, mean girl, Katie. Only a mean girl would do that. <laughs> so how's it going over there? Um, do you, uh, did you forget you're on my like, cup number three already? No, I I have How been... many cups are you having? How many done have we done? Stop. Oh, you don't know. Here. I love throwing you off. There. See, I'm giving you more cheese. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now I have my breading for the tilapia later when we're ready for that. Which I made the same thing last night. It was so good. Was it? You ate it. Oh, yeah. No, that was like the best fish I had in so long. It was delicious. It was, it was really, good. really good. I'm excited. I'm excited, too. Okay. All so, right. Orange chicken is almost done. Oh no, what is this one? This one is the ramen. No, that's one. So my ramen noodle Wait. soup one is now. Oh, you know what I forgot to do on this earlier this what week? Did you do? I forgot to spray them with cooking spray and then like they didn't pop out pretty. They came out sticky. Yeah, and... but it just made it like it made it worth something because I, I eat them so fast that at least it was nice to have something to like sort of go after because it was after like two bites all gone. So now I am slicing the chicken up because I gotta take all of this chicken and then it is going to be the meat for the soup. Is that right? Yes. Okay. For the chipotle line, no, for the chicken ramen. Yeah. So this is the chicken that's gonna be for the shrimp, right? Yeah. It's chicken of the sea, okay. That's too big. Do you remember when Jessica Simpson said that? I, I remember everyone making a big deal about it. And then I remember living it when you asked me about it a couple years ago. That was last week. That was last week. Oh, this chicken is so hot to the touch still. Well, you haven't let it cool long enough. I know, because I got only an hour to do this. This was your idea. I know, I'm giving, my, I'm giving myself, I'm like, I'm giving myself goals. Setting my limits. Setting uh, something, something. I, was, I don't know what else, else I'm gonna say. The bacon is so good. No, my whole reason for doing this was because, like, look, the reason that we do our meal prepping on Sundays is because we're so busy or whatever, just like everybody else who's also so busy. And when I, like, everyone sees the meals for this week, and they start going, like, oh, wait a minute, this means like, I have to cook, like, every single day? Like, what's the point of doing the meals? I want to be like, well, look, you can still do the cooking. You can either cook on Sunday, like I'm doing right now, or you can, in fact, like, cook every day, but I could get all five meals done in the same time that it takes me to prepare, like, the one meal for Sunday, so if I can do it, so can you. What are we going to have for dinner? One of these, I guess. Since I'm making them all right now, and the rest of the week, we're just going to be doing, like, microwave and heating it up. Um, but the microwave's not good. Is it not good? Do you know that for a fact? Stacy said that for Stacey a fact. Stacy said that for a fact? Mm -hmm. Where? She's saying it right now? No, she said it earlier. I don't know. Yesterday. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, then we will we will broil it. The broiling will burn it. Oh my gosh! You have got to you got to choose something. Give it away. What? You got to choose something and give that away. Like microwaving it. I can't do that. I can't like. No, but it. okay. So when you broil, you're turning your oven on 500 degrees. Like you're supposed to leave the door open so a little air can get out. But if you just like say a prayer, like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, can't they like want it to be fine? Like, like an angel will be in the fiery furnace with the chicken, and then it'll all be, they like, it won't get burned. But didn't they pray for themselves and not for their chicken? Well, if a chicken could pray, don't you think it would pray? It's dead. <laughs> Wait, just shoot me down. You're just harsh tonight. Because you said I'm going to lose. Because I also said that the chicken's trying to pray. <laughs> How are you doing, by the way? I'm doing fantastic. Oh, my God? I'm doing so good. I'm so almost done. So now you have officially 
individually slice all of the cheese and ate all the bacon. Okay, so you should be just about halfway done because this is my halfway point. Okay, I am just about halfway done. How? I don't know. Okay. Maybe because cooking, when done, like when if you just focus and do it, it doesn't take as long as you think it does. But how can you focus when you have children and husbands? Well, right now I don't have children or husband, so I'm super focused. Laser focused? Laser, like a cat. Where do you get so much focus from? Uh, I get focus from my desire to be you. <laughs> He's a wife beater. Hey, that is not funny, not appropriate, not okay. I know I opened myself up for that joke, but don't do that. Sorry. He's not okay. He's not. He does not beat me. No, stop talking about it. Just say, don't say the word anymore. <laughs> you're, waiting, you're, you're digging yourself so much further into that grave. I'm not digging myself anywhere. What are you doing? You're the one no, who's stop. We're changing upset. subject. Change subject. Talk about ketones. Do something ketosis. Talk about something. Anything else other than what your mouth is trying to make out. Okay, so this is like last week when you kept saying raw meat. Yeah, and you thought I was being inappropriate, except for I was talking about how every time it comes to cooking food, right. if there is uncooked meat, you're like, oh, I can't even touch that. I can't even touch that. Well, so I kept saying the phrase right. uncooked meat. And you kept thinking I was trying to be like inappropriate, and I was well, like, "What is wrong?" With you? I am talking about you beating me in this competition. Stop. Okay. All right. <laughs> you have to stop, or I will make you cook all these by yourself. Oh my gosh! I can't believe you. How did you get like this? This is what I was. You see what I'm saying? Like you try to be fun. You try to be funny. Just turns into like. Something insane. Like, I mean, when, when you're making fun of me, like, that's one thing. But, like, when you're just, like, you're, like, trying no, to... I'm talking about the competition. Oh, yeah? No, I know. Yes. I'm sure. I'm sure that's exactly what you were talking about. That's what you were referring to. I don't understand why you're freaking out. I know, right? What would I possibly be freaking out about? <laughs> Good times. If you find value in any of this, like or subscribe. I guess whatever. That's what you're supposed to say. Is that what you say? No. No, okay. Because then, um, you know. What? I don't know. I don't know. What? Um, so if you tell people to like or subscribe or share, then Facebook will pick up that you're telling people to do that, and then they will send your video to the bottom of the barrel. Why? Because you're not allowed to, like, help people? Or, like, you're not allowed to be... Um, you're not allowed to ask people to support you. People should want to support you on their own, and oh. therefore they should do those things without being gestured. Okay. So don't like this. Don't subscribe to this. Absolutely under any circumstances. If you like this or find any value in it, just throw your phone on the floor and walk away. Just walk away. Burn it down. Is that, is that what it's like? Yes, that is just yeah. what it's like. Don't, don't not, don't not do light your phone on fire and, and not walk, do walk away. I can't do it though. Put it in the microwave. Okay. Put, don't put your phone in the microwave. But do I but, heard it but do to, not do not phone putting in the microwave. I'm gonna charge your battery really fast. Oh yeah? Have you seen those videos? Yes I have. Oh my gosh. I love it when someone tries that and you're like, are you you're serious? You actually you thought that, that was gonna happen? That was gonna work for you? Radiation, hello. Alright, so once that's in the 45 so heat the cooking in the large scale walk. Walk, 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 walk. Broccoli and stir fry. How much broccoli do I need? All of it? Ten ounces. So that's 32. So a third is that. You mean this is 30? So yeah. 10 ounces, you're like, yeah, that's 32. All right. So a third of this. Do I need to cut this up or is it just the way it is? Um, what is the direct, what do you know the direction? So it just says add in the broccoli. What and it just says uh, 10 ounces of a head broccoli. So I don't know what that means. So. I mean, I would cut it up. Okay. Because you want them to be like bite sized pieces. All those things. Okay. So, you know what I'm excited for this week? What are you excited for this week, my love? Kids go to school again. Kids going to school. I am so pumped for that. It's yeah. like 
Why? Don't you don't you like our kids? I love our children. Do you? Like from a distance, that was what you mean. No. Okay. I love our children in general, but I feel like that this experience of them going to school is what they really need. Oh, by the way, um, Monday starts off B day, so you'll need to take Johnny and Sax from school. Why can't you? I don't know. What? I don't know. I can't do everything. I see. Wow. But I thought that you had a, like a system. I. I have a system of one child screaming, screaming, screaming as I drop off the other. And then, the, and then I tell, I tell the twelve-year-old like, to just calm down a little bit. We'll get to his school here in a second. Did you tell him that? No. Did you, did you see the joke I was doing? I was talking about the baby. Oh, I get it. Yeah. Ha, ha, ha. You're so funny. You are. I know. You're funny. Um, but see, I think if you and Jonathan took Silas to school first. Right. We tried that. When? No, we didn't try that. Yeah, yeah y'all didn't try that. All right. Well, we will eventually. Not or if tomorrow. I just take him to school, period, and like we don't worry about the kid, the, the other kids. Like I just tell Johnny to go hide while I leave the house. We can do that for the next. He couple did years. walk home the other day, so I'm sure you could do it again, right? Oh my goodness, don't. I mean, that's okay. But to be okay. honest, that's on us. Yeah. Like, that's like the one time. So from switching over to from switching over to homeschool to the public school system, there are only we found out there's a couple of things that we forgot to like work on. One of those, namely, um, being how to properly care for and make sure your bike does not get taken or stolen on like maybe the third day of school. You want to you share the story? So, Johnny comes home. It's like 4.30, yeah. by the way. It's like a half an hour after he's supposed to have gotten home already. What the heck? So, I was already worried and about to run out the door with keys thinking, oh my gosh, he probably got hit by a car on his way home or something, I don't know. And then what happened? No, you just don't. And then he comes walking in the drawer, because he walked home. And he thought that his bike had been stolen. So instead of like... Why did he think his bike had been stolen? Well, because it was gone from where he put it. Yeah. He didn't know where his bike should go, but he thought that the front door was a really good idea. And, and on this day, he forgot to chain it up. So it wasn't there when he got done. And instead of like, you know, going to the office, like I told him to, if he ever needed anything, um, or telling his teacher, or phoning home, because he knows our phone numbers, he decided to walk home. Now granted, it's not that far, it's like what? A mile. A mile. But, it's 102 outside, kid is upset that his bike got stolen, practically in tears, and terrified we're going to be so upset because he forgot to chain it up. But come to find out, it's kind of hard to chain up the bike to the bike rack when you don't know where the bike rack is because we as parents forgot to tell him, oh, by the way, make sure you find out wherever the bike rack is and just said, all right, off you go, bye, and he like went off to school. He wasn't telling us that he was secretly uh, chaining the bike to the front steps of the school. So the only reason it didn't get taken like it did by, I assume, the principal uh, on the first two days is because he locked it up. Mm -hmm. Oh, live and learn. So I went to the school and I somehow managed to get inside after hours and then I saw the bike. If someone had just walked it over to the bike rack and not, it wasn't stolen or anything. But we learned. They were smart. <laughs> someone saw a bike outside and was like, oh, this is going to get stolen. I'm going to go take this and put it where it belongs. Meanwhile, the kid's like, oh my god, my bike got stolen. Is that what he sounds like? What if he's watching right now? What do you think? He doesn't have a phone. Yeah, but Debbie does. Debbie? Turn the phone off. David, turn the phone off. We've got to talk about our kids some more. Okay. I'm done with that. Uh-huh. What are you done with? Well, you haven't even started your other one, and I am getting close to being done with all of them. But all I have to do is assemble it. Oh, no. That is all you have to do, but there's talking in between, isn't there? Oh, I need Parmesan. <gasps> oh, no. Why don't you just run over to h and get that? You can manage this by yourself? No, I can't manage this by myself. There'll just be a lot of uh, the back of my head while I am cooking everything alone. I think your chicken is done. Oh yeah? Do you have orange juice? No, you're gonna squeeze an orange. What? <laughs> you didn't get orange juice because you're gonna make me squeeze an orange? No, because the orange juice- There's doesn't... literally an orange right here. I didn't even notice. What is wrong? Saves money, is that what you're saying? No, because the orange juice has added sugar, so if we just squeeze an orange, it's not as... Like this? Like that? 
No, we have the we have the juicer. Well, then get the juicer. I don't want to. The juice is loose, Barb. Oh my god. What? This is like a half a cup. How do you think we're gonna get a half a cup of orange juice out of one orange? Well, if you microwave it before you start squeezing it, it pops all of the things and then it. Good to know. You, dear, are like little Susie Homemaker. So all you have to do is pop the orange in the microwave. Don't just raw squeeze it with your bare hands. That would be silly. Yeah, that would be, that would be dumbzo. And then you could like roll it on the counter. There's so many things I could have done to make this better, is that what you're saying? Uh-huh. And I'm getting some pulp in there too. There we go. Huh. All right, so in the future, again, I shouldn't do this, what I'm doing right now. I should what? Pop it in the microwave. Because mm -hmm. it like pops all of the juice things inside. I don't know what they're called. And then roll it on the counter so it further pops all the juice out. You know what else you can do? What? Buy a cup of orange juice. No, because the orange juice has added sugar and we're trying to avoid adding extra sugar. Ah, oh, dang you sugar. Like eating tiny bowls of cereal <coughs> and thinking that you're okay. Hey, I'm still in ketosis. That's great, because uh, you're drinking ketones. Because I'm still drinking ketones. The only reason I'm in ketosis. But and it's good. I'm, I'm really proud of you. Thank for... you. That actually sounded with anyone. Because I am. I know what I'm saying. I appreciate it. All right, so I am walking and rolling. I mean, since he was eating like five bowls of cereal a day. Yeah. It's because I was too busy cooking meals for everybody. No, you weren't. No, I know. All right. So then, orange chicken. All right. I need to. I got the aminos. I got that. Test toasted sesame almond oil, whatever that is. Just one teaspoon. That's weird. So it's half a cup and half a cup and then a teaspoon. We'll do two teaspoons because I probably didn't double that when I doubled the recipe. All right, so then optional, a little bit of swerve. Why some swerve? Uh, to sweeten it up a little bit. Sweeten it up a little bit. So can I like throw in some stevia? Um, yeah, or we have the swerve. Yeah, I know we have the swerve, but. Just stevia is stronger, so you need less of it. Yeah, so I was using like one packet. Right. Are you keeping track of time? Yes, I am. I have tw I've spent 25 minutes so far. And I almost. You know how? How? Because I have a timer up there. You have a timer? Yep, right there. Don't turn it off because I'm trying to keep track of my, like, my boiling, broiling thing. I'm just trying okay, to Okay, all right, careful, careful. Careful with my setup over here. Sorry, Ben. So you have 19 minutes to go? Mm-hmm. Do you still think you're going to win? Oh, I know I'm going to win. I'm almost done. Right, well, yours is still never going to be complete because you don't have that stuff that you need from AGV. I'm gonna use a different cheese. Oh, is that what's gonna happen? Okay, so now, after that, are you done using the skillet? Like, you're all the way done? Uh, yeah. Okay, you've made them my chicken, right? I made, you have three chicken breasts. Okay, so I need, that's gonna be my Thai chicken. Okay. And then that's all I need. So, yeah, for that one. I will need the, we'll need to make the cauliflower rice, is that it? Okay, so you have a couple of options. We have the stuff that's in the, Molly. Can you? Can I keep talking or tell, can I tell myself what it was that I needed? Yes. I, no, I don't think so. Uh, once you can sit down to the sprinkles and add it in a bowl. Okay, so you can either do the stuff that we have in the freezer or I got the bags of the fresh stuff. Yeah, let's do the stuff in the freezer because then I can just fry it and turn it off. You left the uh, burner on? No, you turned it off. Okay. Uh, I turned it off. Uh, How many do you have? Just two bags? Two bags, yeah. Well, three. We have two because I need them. Or because I need it for two different recipes, right? Well, I want to do... Just two bags, fine. Okay. I'm going to win. That's fine. I'm going to really? do more. I'm going to okay. do more work. You're okay with that? I'm totally okay with it. Mark, whenever you want something or win something, don't you win it? Isn't that how it works? I said, like, my wife wins. That's how, that's how things are. But I feel like later you're going to say, well, you only had two things to do, and I had five things to do, and you're going to try to, I don't know. You serve your, like, your, your victory? Yeah. 
You can take that online. Is that not going to happen? Nope, not going to happen. Alright, four cups okay. of water need to get put into a bowl for my boiling eggs. Oh, I'm totally doing this wrong. Are you surprised? Nope. I've always suspected it, Barb. You don't know how to read. I was just teasing. I was just totally teasing. I know how to read. All right. Are you done with this, or can I give you this cutting board for the? No, go for it. That's your chicken. Okay, thank you. This is my chicken. Now, you do realize that this has cracks in it, and that the juice is gonna just be loose. <laughs> okay. All right. It's enough. So then, I'm gonna cut that up, and I'm gonna. Do you have a big bowl? Chili. Do I have a big bowl? Do you have all of the? You have stuff. In I bowl. think I'd use all of the bowls. So you have that one over there that could be washed. I have one bowl to uh -huh. your eight bowls. Uh -huh. Sorry, Barb. But don't worry, because you have the biggest bowls of them all, right there. Now see, that is a raw chicken jerk. Biggest bowls in the world. She's got big bowls. I thought you were going to take this pan. It's a, am I I'm right? going to. I have to cut the chicken first, and then I'm going to take it. So what are you excited for this week? Me? I am excited to eat all of these other meals. I am super excited for Cub Scouts to start this tomorrow. Tomorrow like, is the real kickoff, the real start of Scouts. How many kids are in your pack now? Oh my gosh, there's so many kids! I actually uh, make up a fact when I, whenever I talk to the people about it, because I don't really know how many people are in other people's packs, or like how many kids are in their groups, but mine now is up to 95. So as of today, we have 95 kids in my one Cub Scout group. It is, as I like to pretend, one of the largest Cub Scout groups in the state of Texas. Because I can't really honestly think that many people have ever heard of or seen more than 95 kids in one room. We have 28 fourth graders and 22 second graders, uh, 12 or 13 fifth graders, no, 14 fifth graders, as if I just got another email. Oh my gosh, there's so many. And we got girls too now. It's going to be awesome. Okay, now explain. I'm sure that lots of y'all out there are not a okay with this whole Girl Scouts being, or girls being a part of this um, Boy Scouts or Cub Scouts. But what is your standpoint? My standpoint? Are you talking to me or are you talking I'm to your talking invisible to you. friends over there? My standpoint is that when they started to let girls into my group last year, the floodgates did not pour open, as I say. It was not as if there were all of these like women's lib girls who were off to the back with their like burning bras going, Oh my gosh, now finally my daughters will join. All that happened, out of 70 kids that we had last year, one of them was a girl. And the reason that she's in the group is because her brother is already in the group. And we have so many other, like, younger sisters and younger, like, siblings who attend these campouts with these kids anyway. They are always there. They are a part of it. I thought, might as well let them have a hat and wear a badge. And then people say, yeah, but that's why they have the Girl Scouts or whatever. It's like, right, but sometimes, that one... That separates families. Yeah, sometimes you have, then, parents who are pulled in either direction. And like, well, yeah, but then, you know, I did it for my kids. Well, great, but wouldn't it be awesome if there was one group that taught values and morals into your kids and also gave them life skills and good experiences and adventures, and you didn't have to drive four hours there and back to all of the kids different just because of their gender. The kids spend every day with each other in class, and it's not a big deal. And if in 1914, when Cub Scouts was created, women were allowed to vote, I'm sure they would have also said, hey, maybe we can participate in some of the same camping activities. Why does it have to be gender bias? Oh, which is crazy, because do you know what today is? Today is... National Women's Equality Day. Mm, so that's a good thing to be talking about. Right? Yeah, exactly. All right. I wonder why they picked today. Do you know? Uh, might have been the, uh, no, no, I don't know. <laughs> okay, this is the first time that there's been a date put out there that you don't know what's correlated with it. I know. Okay. Like, if I were to say 1842, what happened on in 1842? Uh, in 1842, somebody, uh, not Martin Van Buren, Polk, uh, I think it's the start of the Mexican War. Start of the, no, the Spanish-American War. 1842 is the start of the Spanish-American War. I don't know, I'm making that up. I think it's in the 30s, 1830s. Somebody Google it. 1842 is when Michigan became a state. 1985. <laughs> That's not true. 
No, I'm saying I'm giving you another year. Oh, 1985. You were born, so the light of my life began like before I was even there. Very good answer. Uh huh. And the garden, and the oh, the cream cheese was supposed to be sitting out, so it was like it would be soft. I did not get it out at all. Really? Okay, then you close. Ew, why am I stuck? Garlic cloves. Because we have children who eat syrupy waffles. That's why. Stuff on my hands. So, what else are you excited for? Uh, honestly, I can't think of anything else happening. Is there anything special happening? I don't know. What is this week? Oh, is it Labor Day this next weekend? Labor Day's coming up, yes. And you know what that means. You believe it's almost Do you September? know what Labor Day means? I it's don't. time for the popcorn fundraiser. I, I will be at Tractor Supply, standing outside in Bernie, selling and shilling popcorn for the next two months. It's still going to be one of two. I'll have a canopy. Only one or two. I'm not canopy. So can I use the microwave? Yep. For a hot So I am almost done. What do you have left? Uh, I am cooking the chicken that I just cut up with the ginger and chili. Okay. Is this going to ruin your timer? No. What time is it on? 10.50? No, I don't remember. Well, I've seen it happen before. Well, I just hit cancel, so it won't. Ginger, you are the worst. Ginger teaspoon. And then I need the chili pepper. Is that, so, is that this? Yeah, I don't know. I didn't buy chili peppers because they're hot. <coughs> okay. So, fresh chilies minced. What did we do this weekend? We did this. Oh yeah, we had a garage sale yesterday. Yay! It was exhausting. We were at like 10 minutes. There we go. Yeah, true to form now, we are both feeders. So we had a garage sale, we sold, what, like half of everything? Mm -hmm. We're going to do another one next weekend? Next weekend, while I'm at Tractor Supply, I'm also going to be here selling stuff. How is that going to happen? I can be in two places at once, but that's why I'm cooking five meals at the same time. Huh. All right. Molly, dog, out of the way. So I'm making breakfast and lunch, and Andrew is making... Everything. Everything else. Um, I am just about to finish up the chicken bacon Caesar casserole. I feel like I need to shorten that name because I get tongue-tied saying it, but I get tongue-tied saying it. Chicken bacon? The CBC? Yeah. Yeah, the CB, the CD, CBC. Chicks bakes cacks. No, it doesn't work. That sounds like a new, that sounds like a feminist, like a uh, like a sexist news headline. Chick bakes cast. Doesn't work. This is not working. Alright, so that's gonna cook for five minutes. This is gonna be on for a little bit. Do you have the mayonnaise? Uh, it's in, it's out already right there. Okay. Oh, I was going to get us some avocado mayonnaise, but Walmart was completely sold out of all mayonnaise. It's options. because everyone in Bernie is watching these vids, and then they're like, oh man, I got the meal plan last night. But Along you gotta, with Kristen Way. You got to order early now, because you're getting so famous. I should probably order a minute. Because of Kristen Way. Add the chicken to it. All right, fish sauce. Did you get fish sauce, whatever that is? Um, I did get fish sauce. Okay. And, and did you get fresh basil leaves? I did. They are in this tiny little container. Oh, right here. Yeah. The fish sauce, I don't know where it went. The boys did something with it. Ah, uh, I bet they ate it. I bet they put it away. I bet they straight up drank all fish sauce. How many ounces is four? Oh my four God. ounces? Four ounces. <laughs> Alexa. Oh, I unplugged her. What? Oh my gosh. Oh, I know you were just saying it like that. It wasn't like you weren't actually like. How many is four? You can plug her back in so I can ask her. How, how many? Is, is how many is four? Where's the fish sauce? I'll find the fish sauce. What is that? Like Alexa. What? How many? What? In tablespoons? I don't know. It's right here. Four ounces is half a cup. Okay. So a That's quarter. A quarter cup. Okay. 
How many tablespoons? Are like that? There are three tablespoons in a quarter cup. So you need six tablespoons. Okay, I have that out. Is that right? Yes, that's right. Where did my tablespoon go? Oh, I told you. You were using it. You stole it. I know. Intentionally? Nope, not on purpose. Accidentally. You can also use this right here. How am I supposed to get the mayonnaise out of that? <coughs> How many pieces are I doing? Six? So what do you have done? Do you have anything done yet? No, I got mostly everything almost done. Almost done. I almost done. Oh gosh, fish sauce smells awful. Like oh. fish? Yeah, that's bad. You've never smelled it before? No. You've I've never, never gotten to work in a Delta either. That's bad. Woo. Sweetener and fresh basil. Yeah, you bet I'm going to add some sweetener. Oh. That it is, is uh, not that bad. That is rank and file. Rank and file? Rank and file. What is that? From Red Hot Chili Peppers. With the rank and file, I got dreams so wide like a country mom. I said now. Nah. I know what that song. I'll take I don't know if you see more. It's better for you. That's the thing that you do. That's the secret thing that you do. When you know exactly what I'm talking about, and then you pretend like you don't know what's going on. What are you talking about? Exactly. That's the game. Oh, I found the, I figured out the stakes for this in the end. What is that smell? I told you. It's a fishy oh smell. Oh my gosh. Did oh, you, my, did you put the lid back on it? Put a lid on it. No, that's a question. Did no, I have it? I can. I could. But I don't know where the lid went because you use this pot last and you don't put things away. That's not true. That's really fun to pretend. Alright. What's the matter? Alright, I gotta wait for these to boil. That'll be six minutes. Okay. There's still five minutes left on my... Now, is that the egg? Yeah, it's gonna be... Okay, the... so you realize that like when you do the eggs that they're supposed to be soft boiled so they should be done on the day of? So that when you cut them in half, they like make this oozy stuff. Because we're not going to cut them in half right now. I thought okay. I thought Just, I was gonna. I thought I was gonna present to the world. Okay. Like, yeah. Present it. Yeah. Present on, babe. Uh huh. Present on. Package it up and heat it up right, the next two, day. Two minutes. That's when it's it. And then I'm gonna put that in there. Okay. So then, I just need to make the rice. Yep. I just gotta make rice. That's it. That's all I gotta do. That's it. Cause now, yeah. Where's my other one? Do you think that this is two and a half pounds of chicken? Uh, I think it is probably almost three. Okay. All right. So the, uh, what is it? This one? The orange chicken with cauliflower rice is officially on its last two minutes of just soaking. And it's done. What? Except for the cauliflower rice. All right. The Thai chicken with... Yeah, the Thai chicken is now done, except for the fried rice that I put in there. What? Yep. Uh, and... You have your tilapia to do. Yes, so the oven is... Is that supposed ready. to be two or one? Two. Thank you for reminding me. But I just... I'm nope, no, I'm, you don't, you don't want to bake the tilapia tonight, do you? I mean, again, are we not like... Okay, go for it. All right, I'm This saying. is my dish, though. You get your own. Oh, you mean the one? Okay, no, that's not what I need. I need a baking dish in here, right? Ben. Don't be a dish, babe. <gasps> I can use parking ticket at 400. I just, yeah. You just stole my husband. What? You stole my husband. Well, I think 400 versus like 350 is not that big of a deal, right? No, but if you, you stole my husband. Babe, I'm sorry if, if it was possible for you to put like a bun in my oven, you know, we talked about this, I would already have done it. So there was that one movie where uh, Arnold Jr. Yes. He had a bun in his oven, so why can't you? Uh, so these are the tilapia right here in the Ziploc? You know they could just cut the bun out for you. Right, the Ziploc? The, the, the baby. Okay, good to know. The Ziploc? Yeah, the Ziploc. Do you want scissors? Yes. 
Um, did we really not have any Parmesan? And did you use all of that Gruyere? I only used a sprinkling of it because then you took the rest of it. You had it last, right? I'm just, I mean, I'm just verifying that you were, in fact, in charge of it. Okay, so I'm just going to use this instead of that. A cup of cheese. So I will only boil one egg. Okay. And that will, like, just as, like, for the display. I mean, go ahead and boil them because we'll eat them. Yeah, okay. But what's soft, to... what's soft boiled in? Like, so soft boiled is where it has like runny yolk on the inside. So like just sunny side up but in an, a boiling water pot. Sunny side up in a hard boiled egg. Okay. Like, what is that book? Uh, eggs and... Green eggs and ham? No, eggs and jam for Francis. No. <laughs> you are making stuff up. No, I'm not. <laughs> Um, do we still have the baking crumbles? Uh, I ate some this morning. Where'd you put them? Oh, I see. Okay, so, tilapia. Mine looks pretty good. Mine looks so good. Well, we can't all be you. Then who would be the Me? Yes, so? Why is this coming out of me right now? I am. No, I'm actually really confused by it. Oh, okay. Alright. Well, I don't understand your either, so good luck. Okay. Um, what do I have to do left? Ah. Don't you hate it when I'm right? Words. <laughs> You're not right. Because I'm going to win. Okay. That's fine. Alright, so I have officially run out of cheese uh, for coating these down. So what do I do? Um, buy more cheese. Okay. So I will see you in a little bit um, when you get back with my cheese. You're in, uh, You're in charge of ordering is all I'm saying? Okay, so I'm almost done. Again. Okay. And... Do you have any more cheese bags? I have mozzarella. I can take mozzarella. I'll do that. Okay. Okay, so do you think I should use this? Because it, it's a spring mix. And it calls for just frozen spinach. Well, like, it's the fall. Does so it matter? Like, no, it doesn't matter. All right, how long is this tilapia going on? Uh, 15 minutes. Okay. 12 minutes. 12 minutes. So I will be done with everything in 12 minutes. What are the uh, green onions for? Why are those out? I have no idea. I have not seen them yet. They're right here. In my recipes, I'm saying. Oh. They have not come up. It was not mentioned. All right, now my eggs. Okay, well, all I have to do is cut this and put it in there and then put it in there and then I'm done. Wow. You can remember all four of those steps at once? So, so listen is what you just said. Listen, Linda. Usually the word Linda is not what comes after you saying listen. Well, I can't say those words on oh, TV. Oh, yeah. I mean, I Hollywood thinks you're talking about her. TV. That's right. Well, I don't say, I say like, like a batch. You can say batch, right? No, you can't actually. A batch of, um, A batch of delicious almond sweet cookies? Yes. All right, cool. That's what I was going to say, a batch of cookies. Mm -hmm. You are a batch cookies. of cookies. Oh, man, that is going to be the new thing for all the like, middle schoolers that are calling each other. Oh, you know what I'm really excited for? Kristen Wake watching the food specials? Um, yes. But I got you that chocolate that you asked for. Oh, cacao! <laughs> yes, that. And um, more of, uh, what did I get? What was the other thing I got? <coughs> Words. Um, do you have a spatula over there? I do not. Do you have a under the uh, pantry? Oh, the only thing. I'm not going to get to do it. Oh. What? 
I'm not gonna be able to make the uh, shrimp. Why? Because that's like time wise. Oh, because you haven't even started it. And so that means I'm the winner. Shrimp, red pepper, and chipotle powder. Shrimp, red pepper, and chipotle powder. I really, I really, I really feel like that we should wait to make the shrimp on the day that we're gonna eat it. So okay, fine, overcooked. fine, whatever. I wanted to try to make a point, but you won't let me have my point. That's cool. I get it. I understand. Bias. So then that's done. You know, I didn't put a timer on these eggs. So like in an hour and a half when they're done cooking, that's when you'll be officially done? Well, they're only supposed to cook for like 40 minutes, but last week I, or earlier this week, I let them cook for a while and they were fine. With the making of the cauliflower rice, good, got that garlic and ginger cooked for about a minute, cool. Is this gonna be okay to like cook right now, like with the, it's frozen? I always thought in the microwave first. Okay. I mean, I'm sure it's fine, you just have to cook it longer. Okay. This actually looks really good. Are you surprised? No, I'm not surprised because I've made it before. It just it looks pretty with uh, yeah. a spring mix. It almost mix. looks like potato salad or like, a, like one of those. It just looks very flavorful. So what do you have left to do for scouts this week? Like to plan for tomorrow? Oh, I have to send about a thousand emails to a thousand different people. That's all though. We could get you set up on that platform that I'm on. Okay. All I wonder right, if we so can, we can probably do a second email from it. <coughs> Cauliflower, I need oil, garlic, two teaspoons, that's it, okay. Uh, and this has some oil. Okay. I am not gonna put the fish sauce into this cauliflower. Why? I just, that's, that, the, it's stank. But it's supposed to, like, give it flavor and add. Oh yeah, no, it'll give it a flavor. I mean, that's, that's for dang sure. I just, oof. Oh, I need more bacon. That's over here. I just, that's not cooked though. Oh, you mean you need cooked bacon so you can cook some bacon, is that what you're saying? But I'm almost done. I'm done. So we're going to see that, all right, cook the chicken and the, the broccoli and the stir fry, we're the ingredients, small bowl, pour the chicken and the broccoli, and the sauce, the juice, cool. I don't think we have enough containers for all of this to go in our refrigerator. Oh, we have so much Tupperware. We're going to be good. Our kitchen is going to be such a disaster after That's this. why I've been trying to like clean up um, in the way, like during along the way. In the way? That's you, babe. In the way. I'm in the way? Uh-huh. What am I in the way of? See, you just take all of my like my witty thing, my funny things, you just like well, flop and flat. I don't know what's funny. What are you talking about? Alright, so the one is done. The uh, what is it, the broccoli? Um, broccoli, yes. yes. So the broccoli is done. Chicken flabia has got six and a half minutes left. The Thai chicken with cauliflower fried rice is also done. Uh, the cauliflower is cooking right now, but it will be done here in a minute too. I feel like you should bring it over here and show us. Cause... Well, once the cauliflower is cooked, then I'll do we do that. Okay. I know Herbal wants to see my amazing skill. I'm gonna put a little bit of this in. <clears throat> Make myself look fancy. No. Yes. No. And put some of the ginger in there. Okay. What? So, what was that? The oven is warm. Oh, okay. That's it. You're ready. That's to, it. Oh, you're ready to put your casserole in? How long does it have to cook for? 35 minutes. 35 minutes? We ain't got that kind of time. Sweetheart, I'm done with all four. And the only reason I'm not done with all five is because you wouldn't let me cook the shrimp. Da -da -bum, da -da -bum. But where is your stuff that goes in that stuff? Where's my what stuff that goes in what stuff? I don't know what is supposed to go with that cauliflower. The cauliflower? Well, the broccoli, the seasoned broccoli with the chicken is right here. That looks so good. And a sesame and orange sauce. Can you come show that? Oh, you yeah, know, I can show it right here. So the broccoli, 
with the seasoned orange, the orange Szechuan sauce. Then Thai there chicken. is the Thai chicken with the spicy, yeah, Thai spicy chicken, which is already done as well. Ginger Thai chicken. And then that is gonna go, so now my soup is almost, or my boiled eggs are gonna go. Can you give me a bowl, please? Oh, what kind of bowl? A, the colorful one from the top, like a smaller of those bowls. Thank you. So now I'm gonna take my juice. And you need all of your chicken back? I need some of my chicken. How much do you put in there? You just like put in whatever you yeah. want? Well, so you build bowls. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So and I, the noodles are in the refrigerator, but I don't know exactly how those noodles work. We'll eat them. Like, we'll eat that tonight. That's what we'll eat. Okay. So if you just put some of these noodles. Yeah, read the instructions on those noodles because I've never had them before. Shirataki, white waterfall pasta. So when first opened, it has a mild earthy smell, which means it's going to smell awful for a second. Like fish? Uh, it's ready to eat after draining and rinsing. So. I'm excited if they actually taste good because that's like a pasta alternative. Because there's only one net carb in them. Isn't that crazy? Mm hmm Craziness. Looks like our bread. My mug bread. Which is really good. Okay, so now... Are you done with the lime juice? I never used it. Oh yeah, because it gives us this stuff. Oh yeah, goes with the train. Sure. Okay, so in a bowl. Uh huh. Do you have to rinse them? I'm not gonna rinse them. It's fine. No, you, you. I have to. You have to. Why? So that they're not gross. I think. Look, they look fine. No, it's not. Look, it's. What is it? You tell. Yell at, yell at me in public and show everyone what I have to deal with. <laughs> How long have your eggs been boiling for? Did you put the egg timer in them? Uh, how long are you using the microwave right now? Four minutes. Okay, so they're about done. When the tilapia goes off, they'll have been done for two minutes. Okay. Okay, they are officially rinsed. Is that good for you? Sure. Okay. Pour the water out. All right. So I put a little bit of the noodle in. Uh huh. Nope, I use my bare hands. Oh man. Get the bra. It says, yeah, should the most of that. For each bowl, place half of the packet in there. One tablespoon of coconut aminos and as much chicken as you want. So where are the aminos? You put them away? I put them away. I'll just pour straight up fish sauce in yours. How's that? Chicken broth. That looks so good. I'm gonna eat it. I'm hungry. All right. We're gonna have to wait for the uh, egg to be done. So then, how do I do it with the egg? It says one soft boiled egg cut in half. Right. That's all I gotta do. You need to run it under cold water. I'm gonna run it under cold water. That is so good. What was that? The broth? No, this right here. Uh, that is the Thai chicken. That is delicious. Can I just eat this whole? No, because that's like the food for everybody. It's spicy. Oh my gosh. Will you turn my uh, egg off? Yeah, I already did. It has like a kick to it. Yeah, that's the uh, ginger. Oh boy. Okay, so now I take this lovely okay. egg. I'm a red pepper flake. Oh, it's soft boiled to perfection. Is it really? Look at this. Pop it in. Yeah. Now, here is your chicken egg right here. Your egg ramen soup. You eat it with the chicken in it. The, well, go ahead and put some chicken in it. I gotta get my tilapia out. I'm gonna burn with fish sticks. Last but not least, I feel like that this is missing. Something. Parmesan, not encrusted tilapia. So you're done. Okay. I literally 
am 100% done. Everything except for the shrimp. So four. Four meals. Oh, what do you mean the bacon? Oh, are you, are you still making your, your lunch casserole? Should I have one? Your, your oven's been ready to go. I just needed more bacon and I forgot. Because you ate the bacon things this morning. Oh, is that what it was? Yes. Okay, real quick. I just want to establish when this. How long has this been going? How long? How long have we been recording? I don't know. Oh, uh, it doesn't even say. How long have we been recording? An hour? One hour. Oh, yeah, an hour, five minutes. All right. So, just showed everyone my sweaty arms. I feel like you're missing something. In there. All right, I got the Thai chicken with the cauliflower fried rice, including making the cauliflower, chicken ramen That's soup, insane. which was not only boiling a chicken but making its own broth and uh, hard or soft boiling the eggs that are there, ready to go. I have the Parmesan encrusted uh, tilapia. I have the chicken with broccoli uh, orange zest sauce cooked. And then I also have the Thai chicken made to go with the cauliflower. I have four meals. I have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday all completely cooked and prepared. And did I not tell you when I told you I was going to do this, I said by the end of it, when you look down and you're not even done with lunch, you will see how easily you get distracted. Live. So this just needs to, you just need to, you just need to cut up the bacon and then put it in. And then in about a half an hour when I get back with the kids, yours will be done. Is that about right? Well, it probably won't be done, but you'll be done eating your soup though, right? I love you too. So if you like this, or you, you saw, like this, you if you saw it. value in this, don't share it, don't subscribe, keep it a secret, don't tell anyone. In fact, if you watched it on a certain phone, burn it like a Mission Impossible recording device. Mm -hmm. But four meals for four different, or for five people for a week to eat, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, all cooked in an hour. Now all I gotta do is like zip it up. And since she is the, uh, since she is the person who is not the winner, she gets to clean up the kitchen. So I love you. Talk to you later. I love you too. I gotta greet the kids. Bye. Bye guys. We'll see you next week. I'm a winner. Congrats.